this video will state the definition of group action on a set X and illustrate and make sense out of group action. First, let's look at the definition. A group G X on a set X if the following three epsilon hold. G A1. For every element G of G and every element X of X, there corresponds a unique element G cap X belong to X. That is, we can combine an element of G and an element of X together and give another element of X. G A2. We know G always has an identity element. G A2 states that E cap X is always equal to X. G A3. For every element G1 and G2 and X of X, then G1 cap bracket G2 cap X is equal to the product of G1 and G2 cap X. These are the three axioms for group action of G on X. Well, after I tell you what is the definition of group action on a set X, how to make sense of a group action? First, you need a set X and, and a group G. One possible X I can think of, take a simple X as a set, consists of 1, 2, 3. And a G, a simple group, consists of identity E, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 in a two-line form, and F, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2 in a two-line form. As, so this G is a permutation group of three symbols. Then, GX naturally on X. How naturally is this? I must tell you, what is G cap X now? For every element in G and every element in X. But before that, let's try to understand the group G first. Consists of two lines from E, which is identity, and F, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2 in two line form. This G is a group. And what this group trying to do is a permutation of three symbol 1, 2, 3. E is a mapping. Let's send x to x is send 1 to 1, 2 to 2, and 3 to 3. F is a mapping from x to x again, but now this time F will send 1 to 1, 2 to 3, and 3 to 2. Now, let's show you how to do the group action. What if you do E, X on 1? Now, what we're going to do since E is a mapping from X to X, so this is naturally, we're going to do E at 1 is the image of 1 under E. Now, the image of 1 under E you can see from the arrow diagram is 1. How about E at on 2. Now this is the image of 2 under E since E is mapping from X to X and since E map 2 to 2 so image of 2 is 2. How about E X on 3? Now this is the image of 3 under E since E is an 3 to 3 so the image of 3 is 3. So basically you can see from here that 
e act on x give you back x again let's look at another element of g how about f add on 1 since f is a permutation of x so f add on 1 naturally you can take the image of 1 under f but the image of 1 under f you can see from the arrow diagram is 1 how about f add 2 when f adds on 2 since f is mapping from x to x so naturally we will take f at 2 as the image of 2 under f and the image of 2 under f in this case is equal to 3 how about f at 3 since f is mapping from x to x so I can take this as a image of 3 under f which is 2 here so when I mean g x naturally on x basically it means g acting on x is just the image of x under g since g now is mapping on the set x to the set x again so I hope this gives you some insight of what group action on X is all about.